Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be starting off a new series on replication. So there's not really any specific order you'll need to watch these in. I'm assuming anyway that this is only the first episode I'm doing. However, today we're going to be starting off with replicating animation montages. So if I hit play, as you can see we've got two different screens here. And what I'm going to do is just move those about. If I walk over here, let me move this one over. We can see we have our two characters here. The animations themselves are replicated by default anyway. But if I were to press 2, you can see on the left we've got our animation montage playing. But on the right it isn't playing for the other character. So only one player is seeing this. However, if I press 1, that's the replicated montage. And you can see now both players are seeing this as well. And it works both ways too. So if I were to do it for this character, or this player, sorry, it would also work both on server and client. So this is what we're doing today, we're going to be going over the basics of replicating animation montages and the way I've set it up just makes it a lot easier for you to adapt and build upon it as well. Uh, so without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how we've done it. So this is actually quite basic and so what I've got is I've got my animation from Mixmo and I've made it an animation montage as well and I downloaded it on the export and just retargeted that over and I have different videos on different stuff like that if you'd like to see it. And also because we're using animation montages make sure that in your animation blueprint what you've got is the slot default slot in the anim graph here like so and once you've got all of that what i'm going to do is open up my character blueprint because that is how i want to be playing this animation montage so for me it's going to be content third person bp blueprints third person character and in here what you can see is i've got the two keyboard event and there's a play anim montage and it's going to play that magic heal montage i have there this is how you would normally play a montage However, this is not going to be replicated, so this will only work for the player who is actually playing the montage. So we need to set it up slightly differently. And so to set it up differently, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the one keyboard event. You can obviously play this however and wherever you want, but I'm going to be setting it on the one keyboard event, so when I press one, it will heal the character, for example. But before that, we need to create some custom events. So I'm going to right click and add a custom event, and I'm going to name this one Play Montage on server and then what you can do is up in the top right we have the graph and under the graph we have replicates at the moment that's not replicated so we're going to press not replicated and as this is the server custom event we want to run on server and as it sounds this is going to run at this custom event and whatever is off this custom event on the server and we're going to move that up there and then underneath this we're going to right click and add another custom event naming this one play montage on client or play montage everywhere or anything like that and we're again going to go to the replication part and this time we're not going to do run on server and we're not doing run on owning client we're going to do multicast because a multicast will take it from the server and put it everywhere else so we'll do it on all the clients and the server as well so we're going to play the montage on the server and play the montage on everywhere so on all the clients as you can see there executes on the server executes on all so the play montage on client or the executes on all, what we're going to do is come out of this and get a play anim montage like so, which again is the same one we have up here, just the normal play anim montage. The in montage, what I'm going to do is I want to make this dynamic so I can use the same system for whichever montage I want to do. So instead of just putting in my magic hill montage in there, because that means I can then only use it for this montage, what I'm going to do is drag that onto the custom event, add pin to node, and now we have an anim montage on the custom event connecting that up like so. And let's move up to the play montage on server, and out of this I'm going to call function play montage on client, as you can see there. Anim montage again, I'm going to drag into that custom event, so we have anim montage like so. And then back up above this again, this is where we want to actually fire off the montage. So again, for me, that's the one keyboard event, but for you, this could be anywhere you want. So if the player gets hit, the player presses a button, the player walks somewhere, anything along those lines. So I'm going to right click and get the one keyboard event. And where you want to do it, we're going to call function play montage on server, as you can see here. Now, this is where we're going to select which montage we want to play. So I'm going to hit select asset and hit magic heal montage. And what this is going to do is when we press one, it's going to call that custom event of play montage on server, inputting the magic heal montage in there. It will then call this custom event here of play montage on server, which will go straight into the play montage on client, 
again calling that anim montage there. So what it's doing now is the play montage on client is also running on the server. And when we call the play montage on client, that's going to play the anim montage and it's going to run it on all the different systems and clients and servers that we have here. So again, we're going to press it, play it on the server, then play it on all. So I hope that makes sense. This is the order you need to do it for replication to work. So this is for montages and basically everything. Replication goes through the server, then goes through all. So run our server, then multicast. And again, with this system, what you can do is you can just call the custom event of play montage on server, input any montage you want, and this will still work the same here. You only need these four nodes here. You don't need to redo this every single time. So we can compile, save, and let's hit play to test this out. What I'm gonna do is again, move this over here like so. If I go onto this character over here, and if I press two to do my normal anim montage, you see it's running on the client, but not on the server. Client being left, server being right. If I press one, it's gonna play on the client and on the server like so. So it's now replicating, so both players can see it on the server and on the client. And again, it will work the other way around, so the server will run it only on the server when I press two, and when I press one, it will run it on the server and the client. And this will work for as many different ones as we want as well. So if I have four players instead, this should still work perfectly as well. So let me just move that down there. Maybe move this one down a little bit as well. And then let me just get this one over here, move them all on screen, and we should see that this works perfectly. So now we have all the different characters on screen. If I were to press one on any of these characters, it's gonna run on all the different servers and clients as you can see here. Again, working perfectly for all of them like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set up replicating animation montages so it will run on the server and all clients and replicate perfectly for how we want. And it's a dynamic system so we can set it up for multiple animation montages as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.